The man considered a disruptor by Pakistan's two main political parties until a few months ago. But now polls suggest Imran Khan's Tehreek and Saaf party is the front runner. He's taken the lead from Nawaz Sharif, the former prime minister who's been jailed by an accountability court. But the rise of Imran Khan and the fall of Nawaz Sharif is alleged to have been engineered by the establishment, a local metaphor for Pakistan's military. This is a plan and it is intended to bring about a result in this election which the planners want, it will produce a situation which will cause further difficulties for this country. A weak government, internally divided coalition, uh, huge challenges. It's the first election where religious far-right parties are taking part in mainstream politics. The Tariq al Pakistan, or TLP, rose to prominence with a violent sit-in in Islamabad. It was resolved after the military became a guarantor between the protesters and the government. Now it's a political force with more than 500 candidates vying for national and provincial assembly seats. TLP plans to make Pakistan what it calls a true religious state. It denies it is backed by the military and says its money comes from loyalists in their millions. The money given to us by the Rangers was someone's individual act and has nothing to do with the party. The video which was made to go viral was a conspiracy. Nawaz Sharif's league has been assured of support from the Ahl Sunnat wal Jamaat, which was a banned group until last month. And Imran Khan's party has welcomed in its fold Harkatul Mujahideen's former chief, a cleric who's on the US terror watch list. A political party has also been formed by the supporters of Hafiz Saeed, another cleric who's on a United Nations terrorists list. They are fielding over 250 candidates for the first time in this election. And from their headquarters, the Milli Muslim League is running an organized campaign. But the political party insists that the UN is wrong and Hafiz Saeed has not been given the right to respond to allegations against him. We are practical people and our character is clear. Whether it's safeguarding Pakistan's ideology, philanthropy and public service or the ethical support for occupied Kashmir. That's why people will vote for us. There's also a religious